Hi, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create lower thirds. So these are a great way to convey information, names, social media tags, and if you're working in a newer version of Premiere Pro and you head over to the Essential Graphics panel on the right hand side, there are a numerous amount of lower third presets and title presets, and you can always just drag and click on those. They'll create a, they'll drag a new graphic object that's already all preset animated such as this and all you have to do is grab the text tool and kind of change the title to be whatever you want and you can see in the essential graphics panel all the different shape layers you can turn them off or on and you can change the color of things as well if you want so this happens to be blue but I can change it to be whatever I want and you can see each one of those different shape layers also in the effects control panel, you can see the keyframes that were done to make it go in from a left position and slide in like that. And if you want, you can adjust them so that they take longer or faster, such as that just by squeezing them together or not. However, I'm also going to show you a quick way that you can just create your own custom lower thirds from scratch if you don't want to use those templates or don't have them. So we can achieve the same result just by clicking on the type tool and let's go to the program window and type out whatever we want. So I'll just type out my social media handle and I can highlight that text. You see it created a graphic object just like with the templates and I can increase it to a size and position that I want. I can choose the font, the color and everything about the text like that. There's also these new shape tools under the pen tool. So if I just click and hold that I can get to my rectangle tool and I can just create a new shape layer in that same graphic object. So now we see we have two layers in the essential graphics panel, the shape and the object. And I just want to put them in the right order so the text is on top. If I want to center things, I can always just hold shift and highlight both of those together and I can kind of align the text to be perfectly in the middle of the shape. But now we have this quick and simple lower third and we can animate it in in a bunch of different ways. So if I wanted to just do a simple slide in, I can just add keyframes to the position in the effects control panel. So at the very start of the clip, I can click that stopwatch, it'll turn keyframes on, and I can make it start to the left, so I can move the X position off the screen, and then I can move in a certain amount, like one second, and I can move it back to the desired position. As an added touch, I can even highlight that keyframe and maybe change the temporal interpolation to ease in. That'll kind of gently ease it into the final position. You can add a nice little touch. And then I can simply just do the same thing for the other side. I click this button here to add a keyframe at the current position. I move over a little bit and then I bring it back out to the other side. So now we've created our own lower third that goes in and it goes out by itself. There's also other ways that you can animate. So rather than just sliding left, down, or, or whatever, I can turn that position off, just put the lower third where I want it, and I can also add effects onto this graphics layer. So in the video transition folder, you also have a bunch of these, like I could just do a fade in and out, I could do splits and wipes. So for example, if I just did a wipe, I could add a wipe to the beginning and a wipe to the end, and you'll see those pop up like a transition and now it kind of wipes in and wipes off and if you ever click on that little transition tape you can change the direction that it wipes from so I can do up to down diagonal or whatever I want so I can make it diagonal if I want so there's many ways that you can create these custom text graphics I'm using it for lower thirds but there's no reason you couldn't do similar things with titles and build them yourself or if you do just want to use some of the preset ones that you can browse in the essential graphics panel these are kind of some of them are linked with after effects and whatnot you can check out what you have available there as well so you have plenty of options on colors and animation styles between the essential graphics effects and effects control panel if you enjoyed this tutorial check out some of my other editing tutorials for more help and subscribe to the channel to stay tuned for all of my new videos Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.